Hey guys and girls, what is up? My name of course is Wilbert Moore and welcome to a brand new biome video on the channel today. And today I'm going to be talking about a very specific biome. Today we are in Greenland and we are talking about the tundra. More specifically, the Arctic tundra. So a little bit of background information about the the tundra biome. In the winter temperatures, it can go at as low as 30, negative 34 degrees Celsius or negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. But the average summer temperature is 3 to 12 degrees Celsius or 37 to 54 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit. This temperature in the summer is what allows the tundra to get life and plant life because it allows the plants a time period to grow. Talking about Greenland specifically, Greenland is located in the Western Hemisphere, northeast of Canada. Its common species are whales. The sea around Greenland are teeming with whales, walruses, the arctic fox, the polar bear, the musk ox, the Greenlandic reindeer, and seals. All of these have been impacted by human, impa human activity in the location which is apparent with the Greenland Ice Sheet. The Greenland Ice Sheet is a section of glaciers within Greenland that scientists say has been melting at an increasing rate. They're saying human activity is one of the reasons of, and one of the effects of global warming within Greenland is what's causing glaciers to melt and expand farther than they would naturally would. On the screen now, you can see a quick. On the screen now, you can see a quick food web of all of the species that are located in Greenland. At the top, you can see the main predator is the orca whale, followed closely by walrus and the polar bear. As it gets lower and lower into the food chain, you see that it gets a little bit more complex with some animals facing many different predators and many predators also having to watch out for themselves. <laughs> However, humans have also had some positive impacts on Greenland. More noticeably, they have been adding sanctions or safe zones for predators such as polar bears and walruses and other animals that are becoming more and more extinct. They have been banning hunting them and they've actually given them areas where they can produce naturally. The future of Greenland seems to be going in a positive direction based on all of this human activity going on and the fact that there's more of an emphasis on the issues of global warming. Scientists say that Greenland should be back to its normal state of expedition in the coming years.